get better every time. They have been getting dialed in, and they look completely different from the first time we saw either of these robots. Both extremely dangerous. Colossal Avian with a beautiful hit in their last fight. Precision after a minute and a half, dialing Five, it in and four, nailing their three, opponent's speed two, controller and starting one, a fire. Will fight, we see that here? Robots fight. The front end working really well out of the gate. Oh, I spoke too soon. Hit after hit. Aries surprisingly keeping their weapon dialed down. Oh, great move for oh, Colossal oh, Avian. There you go. That's the control. Man, what a blow for a blow. And look, this is the perfect moment for Colossal Avian to land. Oh, they're, they're trying to rearrange oh, here. No, look here. That keep away stick is lodged in the front of Ares. Yeah, well, they could get the hit here, right? And that would dislodge it. No, Maybe it would be worth a shot. Not but they're not to take it. I would agree with you. I'm surprised that they're not taking it. But Did the arm malfunction? I I don't know. I would have expected a shot to happen there. Well, the thing is, if they call, if the judges, if the referees call for an unstick, rather, you got to do that unstick when you're asked. I guess. Uh, but had it had it been 10 seconds? I don't think so. Yeah. So, it, it, but it's hard to say. They might just be trying to do what the referees are telling them to do. We're not. Yeah. At this we point, certainly, it's pause for for a separation. Happened all sort of quickly there. Surprising not to see them come down with the weapon before the, the end of the count. Well, we might get to see the uh, precision safety crowbar here. Oh, I think the safety crowbar is coming out. Now, this is something we are very exacting on how this is handled. The competitors need to make sure that their weapons are disabled. We need robot handlers going in who are ready because both of these weapons are primed and ready to start spinning. So they have to be very careful that you're not putting yourself in harm's way when the arena doors are open and robots are active. It's a very uh, tense moment, and it's why you see this work here, these crowbars being put in the middle of the weapon chassis, so even if it were to try to start spinning, it wouldn't be able to do any damage and get blocked immediately. Yeah, you'll see them disconnected here. A piece of Colossal Avian's uh, keep away fork seems to be stuck, but they're separated now. They're not going to flip Ares back over, just separate them from the fork. Interestingly, uh, Colossal Avian seems to have overhead attack armor on. Yeah, Very that's thick. a great observation. I hadn't noticed that they don't run this for every fight. I I gotta wonder if that's maybe they just had the extra weight to run it yeah. because they don't need to run a plow, or maybe they really think that somewhere they're gonna get hit. Interestingly, Colossalavian now backing off. I would have thought they'd restart close to the position they they ended in, but uh, I guess not. But yeah, I wonder if they're just sort of, you know, you have the way, you, you can always have areas falling from the sky on top of you. We've seen that happen before. It's not even unusual <laughs> at this point, Adam. These robots go flying and you have no idea where they're going to land. You could probably do the math out. There's only so much square footage and the robot is X size. <laughs> it's going to land in one spot or another. You can understand the probabilities at play. This match is going to start up again any moment now, but this is always a tense moment for the competitors because you don't know what kind of state your robot's yeah. in when you restart. You have to be ready that first moment of the match to pivot on the condition of your robot. Yeah, what is or isn't wrong with Ares after that encounter? You know, whenever something gets jammed up, it can overheat something if you don't turn off your uh, weapon and I'm, drive fast I'm getting enough. word from, yeah, I'm getting word from Cage side. Ares is unable to move right now. They are disabled. Wow. Uh, so they are wanting to know can they get an unstick before the match begins, essentially? Ah, so they've requested the unstick. And they were not able to get it before the match starts, but basically at the start of the match. But are they stuck or are they broken? No, it seems that they're broken and they're just... Uh, the weapon. Uh, broken in such oh. a way that the wheels weren't able to yeah, touch the ground. Interesting. Now Colossal Avian's on its head, and they're not and able to use their weapon. And it does look like the weapon arm on Colossal Avian is unable to move, and perhaps why now they we've, weren't able to get that hit earlier. We've seen Colossal Avian uh, self 
I shouldn't say self-write, we've seen the house robot able to write a colossal avian from this position before. They're a flexy, weird robot, so it is possible, but it's a little bit luck of the draw. Yep. See, Ares kind of waiting here just in case, but it looks like, if anything, Colossal Avian is maybe more stuck. Yeah, it's far from a guarantee that the robot's going to be able to right itself. And Flo has given up on the attempt. They have outlasted the time limit. Colossal Avian is going to be counted out. Tap out. They're going to tap out before the count out. And Ares wins a weird one. Yeah, very, very strange. Certainly hard one, but 